It's almost died. For real. The reason I'm making this video is because we did a live once kind of explaining this, but never done a video about it. But people always talk about uh, my slur and things like that, so I'm going to address it. Back in 2019, and I'm going to say it was uh, about mid November before Thanksgiving. Didn't feel good. Couldn't breathe. Uh, whole nine yards. This is before COVID came into the United States. So I went to the doctor. Went to the doctor. Um, they they really didn't know. They tested me for everything. Had nothing. Gave me antibiotics. And that box, they, they helped for a little bit. And they didn't cure it, but they, they helped for a little bit. But as soon as that box were gone, I was back to square one. So that went on for months. And months and months. So from uh, about November through February, March, I had no idea what was wrong with me. I couldn't walk from, we have a sectional that's nine feet by nine feet. I couldn't walk from the corner of the sectional to the other end without stopping having to catch my breath. I couldn't get a shower without stopping in the middle of my shower to catch my breath. I couldn't get out of the shower without stopping halfway through drying off without catching my breath. Forget going upstairs. Couldn't sleep upstairs at all. So I slept downstairs and I slept in the corner of the sectional for for months. For months. And Stacy was uh really good during all this. Like she 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 she, she pulled the mattress downstairs. I mean I because I couldn't do that. Um so she could sleep on it and be downstairs with me. And that's why that's why we're married. So this corner is where I slept. After swelling up for, I was probably swelling for a month straight, and in my legs, and my stomach, and my arms, like everything was swollen. And I was at the cabin, and I noticed it when I propped my feet up. I was like, this ain't right. Still didn't go to the hospital. Still didn't want to go. Stacy and my mom basically, um, I mean, honestly forced me to talk me into it. So we came back and I still wasn't going to go. I went um, that night that we got back at midnight. At midnight, I walked into. I walked into the ER. To my blood pressure. My blood pressure was 288. Over 137. And they're like, well, we can't believe, um, what were people saying, well, I can't believe you have a stroke. The doctor was saying that. That's what people tell me after I tell them the story. But I did. In my eye. And it affected my speech. For a long time, I, I couldn't really even speak. I definitely couldn't see. I couldn't see the drive. Um, I couldn't walk into the store and see what was on the shelf. I depended so much on Stacy that I mean I felt felt horrible I mean it makes you feel like I don't know maybe, maybe less than a, a man kinda she never wavered not once that slur that you hear every now and again that wasn't there before I had a stroke um that developed afterwards, but being able to speak again, the, to me this is clearly now. I mean, cause you didn't, you, you should have seen and heard what it was before. And, and being able to see, like I literally couldn't drive, couldn't do anything. And I thought my sight would never come back. And that's one of the scariest things to me in the whole ordeal. It was, it was horrible. Not knowing if you're ever gonna be able to see again. Not only did my eyesight come back, my eyesight has been the same for since I was started wearing glasses in uh, middle school. Negative 325 on both eyes. My eyesight got better. Negative 175 on both eyes. I, I, I can't explain that. But, you know, and, and it's been really easy for this to beat me down. 
But I didn't let it. It's not going to be down. Things can always be worse. You got to keep looking forward and looking ahead. If you want to learn bouncing around so much, we're getting everything ready for like his birthday party today. Um, we'll try to video about that tomorrow. But we're packing stuff up, moving stuff around. So that's why I'm moving around so much, trying to get this video in. And I apologize for that. But um, I, I, it could have been so much worse than what it was. And I, I joke about it all the time, saying it would have killed a lesser man. But, you know, to be where I am now, from that side to coming out to this side now, I couldn't be happier. What more could you want? I mean, I went through some um, very traumatic stuff straight when the virus came. I mean, it was basically straight from the lab before anybody knew anything about it, before it had a name over here, before it was anything at all. And I dealt with the hardcore out of it. And that's where I ended up with my kidney failure and heart failure. I got a stalk heart failure. And uh, so I, I deal with that every day. I got pills for that. Um, you know, I've been worried as a little late that maybe the heart failure is getting a little worse. Or maybe it's in my head. I, I don't know. But um, I have a cardiologist appointment next week. Actually, today's the 9th. So I have it on the 11th. So it's a couple days from now. And uh, we're going to see what they say there. But I just, I don't know. It's just like, it could be so much worse. And, and it's not. It's just not. So I don't know what all that means. I don't know why my eyesight got better. I don't know why some of my numbers have gotten better. My kidney disease that I have, uh, where I had kidney failure. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why for a lot of things that's going on. And for me to believe my heart failure is getting worse after all this, it's kind of stupid on my part. Um, but I've been swimming a little bit more lately, especially my foot, and that's why I can't wear my web band right now. I may have seen fat. Can't wear I don't know. I might have to get it resized. But after we got everything straightened out, um, went back to the doctors. You know, after I got out of the hospital, stayed two days in the hospital. They took blood for me every hour and a half for testing. When I got out, I had three and a half pages of testing done on me because nobody knew what it was. I got tested for everything. And for my, what my blood pressure was, they were surprised my cholesterol wasn't high, or, and I didn't have diabetes. But I didn't have neither one of those things, plus a whole plethora of others I didn't have. Came out with my medication, and, you know, we tweaked that for about the first month with my nephrologist. And it's been good ever since. I mean, I can't... I do watch what I eat. I know we go out to eat a lot. But if you see me, um, like, on our food reviews eating, like, bad crap for me, I don't eat a lot of that. I'll eat maybe, like, well, less than half. That's why I get salmon most of the time. Salmon is really good for, um... Kidney failure. There's basically uh, I gotta watch the sodium. That's all I gotta watch. So sodium is my biggest my biggest thing. I can't really do a normal diet where you're doing just low calories anything like that because sodium is a huge huge deal for me. And I gotta make sure that I keep my sodium down. And that sounds simple, but when you're eating out, it's really not. You're you're very limited on what you can order. But it's not easy. There's a lot of uh, salads, baked potatoes. Fish and chicken. Uh, I can eat a steak every now and again. Technically, I can have it all I want, but steak's not something you have when you have kidney failure. And uh, like I said, mine's not bad now. Uh, I'm kind of the numbers getting better for whatever reason there, and I'm I'm enjoying it, but I don't want to tempt anything. But overall, everything's good now. I guess the base of this video was to let you know about the the little slur that I have and things like that. Because I have tons of people asking me. Tons and tons and tons. And people used to call me on my video all the time. Now we got to where they message more often. But either way, I think it needs to be addressed. Um, and I will say once again, without Stacy, I don't think I have to came through. I really, truly don't. She's the one.